So I posted a picture on Facebook of this and people want to know how do you mount a 32 inch TV on the Provent I-beam using trigger clamps. I'm going to show you that today. But first let me just stress that this beam is adjusted for the basement ceiling height because it's very low. So I had to bring it down quite a bit just with some clamps and some creativity. Typically this beam is going to be up quite a bit higher and the clearance you're going to get between the TV and the ground is going to be about six foot three inches. So this is our TV we're going to use. It's a 32 inch Samsung. I picked it up at Sam's Club last summer just to kind of show you guys how it might work on the ProVent table. It was under 200 bucks. 720p, but it's fine. Do what we want to do here. Just some demos. Now on the back of these TVs, on most of them you'll see these little screw holes. What these are for is to mount these TVs on mounting brackets to hang on the wall. We're going to take advantage of these today. And if you buy a mounting kit, sometimes they come with screws. They fit right in these holes. They thread in. They may not thread in too much. Like this is only about a five turn deal on this particular screw. But this is the size we need. Every TV is going to have a slightly different size screw hole or thread or whatever. So make sure that you use the right one for the TV that you have. I didn't have a screw to work. I had to go to the hardware store and pick up these little cap screws. They are M8 1.25 by 25 millimeter. They've got an Allen head on them. It's going to work great for what we're doing. As you can see here, it's, I don't know what you want to call this. It's ribbed on the sides, which is going to help us out today. And I'll show you that in a minute. We're going to be working with these two holes up here. We're not going to worry about these two holes down here. So this is the top of the back of the TV. And just make sure that you've got the right screw. Try it in the hole. Remember, you get about five turns in there, and that's about it. And the ribbed edges of this cap screw help us out a lot for what we're doing today. So what we got to do is take these cap screws and pop them through this hole down here where our wing nut and bolt and washers were that came with the trigger clamp. Now, put it over the hole and kind of turn it. That's how I've worked out how to do it. And get this out of the way for now. By the way, you have to get the right sized screw. If it's too long, it's not even gonna fit in this clamp because you're gonna get blocked by this guy right here. If it's too short, it's not gonna go to the hole, so it's gotta be perfect. Now here's something that I ran into as a problem. I didn't know I was going to have it. I thought I was going to be smart and use an Allen wrench to tighten down these cap screws. But it turns out that because of this bit right here, I can't even get an Allen wrench in here to work unless I take it into the shop and I cut it and make it shorter. But then I discovered the ribs on the side of these cap screws make it pretty easy. I can kind of turn it and manipulate it and turn the clamp itself to get these Good and snug where I need them. And that's exactly where I want this. Now again, if I wanted to make it tighter, I'd have to cut an Allen wrench to do that. Not a big deal. But I really didn't want to do that. I didn't feel the need to do that. Now these clamps are rated at 165 pounds a piece. Keep in mind that this TV weighs about 10 pounds and the Pro Event I-Beam is only rated at 100. So there's plenty of strength in these clamps to hold this TV up. All right, it's time to mount the TV. Now all you have to do is hang it where you want it. And you can let go. You don't have to hang on to it. That's really all there is to it. Now tightening the clamps is a little different, especially with this TV and the way they're spaced. I'll show you what I have to do. Now you may see the issue this is in the way here, and this is in the way here. So all I have to do is slide it a little bit this way and bring this sucker up. Just gonna tighten it a little bit. Not gonna get it totally snug yet. I'm just gonna kinda get it on there. Gonna slide it over a little bit. I can flip this up, tighten this down. At my awkward angle for TV purposes or YouTube purposes. All right, now that I have those, you know, kind of snug a little bit, I can put the TV exactly where I want it at the pole. Let's say I want it right there. I can go ahead and start tightening it down a little bit more, but 
if I need room for cables or something right over here, I can tilt this up a little bit and then tighten them down. It gives me the room I need. Also allows me to tilt a little bit if I need to. The reason I positioned it where I did where I have this clearance back here is because the power plug is right back here behind this pole of all things. But with the position I have it in, there's plenty of room to go ahead and plug that in. Now what I really like about this particular mount is that the TV ends up being centered on the I-beam. It's not sticking up too high. It's not hanging down too low. Now whatever monitor you use or screen you use, it may vary depending on where the mounting points are on the back, but it turned out really nice on this Samsung. Could you use a bigger set? Yeah, I guess you could, but I really like the way this looks. You could do a set on either side if you want and probably get away with something maybe even 10 inches bigger, but for the center, I think this works pretty well. So, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps somebody. Practice and enjoy.